This portion of the Digital Lifestyle is brought to you by Forklift. Forklift takes the best of the Finder and adds granite functionality, including FTP, SFTP, and Amazon S3 management, batch rename, archives, and more. Find out more at BinaryNights.com. Hi, everyone. Welcome once again to TDL Live. Don't be fooled by those two imitators that were just on here. This is a, I couldn't hear you. I said, this is TDL Live. <laughs> Thank you, Mac Girl. I'm Ryan Ritchie. Adam Ford with me, as always. Uh, big welcome to those of you who might be tuning in for the first time. I know a lot of people get on the old surfboard <laughs> and go surfing the night before uh, Macworld keynote, and they see that, and then it's, they keep on is, going. It is Macworld Eve. You can feel it in the air. Macworld Eve. I Ooh, will, I will be honest with you. It's electric. I've had the fever stronger in the past. Have you? Yeah. I'm pretty jazzed up about this one. I, I'm not exactly sure why. You know, some people are saying tomorrow could be the start of Apple 2.0, if you will. Ooh. A new, a new, a new feel, a new look. Uh, we got Phil in the in the driver's seat. Phil the thrill. Watch out for him. He's not just a thrill on the uh, on the on the ice. For those of you, Phil the thrill, big big ice hockey player. He is. Very well. If you Google far enough, you'll find pictures of him on the ice. Okay. I saw you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> Anyhow, here's what we do. We, we cut up the news and put it in a fishbowl, and then we pull out the news stories in a random order. Uh, and none, of, none of this is rehearsed, by the way. I was just <laughs> as taken back by that as you. <laughs> and we see uh, what's going on in the world of Mac. Now, we're going to play it a little looser tonight. This, yeah. is, uh, this is our blues, blues night. Uh, blues. Blues. You know, a lot of improv. Oh. Uh, a lot of skiddly scat. <laughs> that would be different from most nights. Point being that we're going to spend a lot more time on Macworld itself yes. and uh, Steve's announcement today, of course, and all that good stuff. But this isn't a one-way street, folks. No, no. We got traffic. No, Look both no. ways before you cross this street. It's a five-point intersection. And we need you at point four. And the way you do that, you, you, you say hello via iChat. Send an iChat to TDL Live. I know what you're thinking. Well, you guys don't see that. You can't possibly be on the air live speaking coherently and intelligently about the Mac news of the day <laughs> and responding to, to iChats on this script. Well, just try us. We are. There happens to be one here. There's one right now. There's one right now. Also, you can uh, send it to us via Twitter. TDL Live. Right. We may or may not see that. We're still yeah. getting used to Twitter, and uh, it should be a heck of an event tomorrow, as uh, mm -hmm. we usually have throngs of people for the Mac World coverage. Yeah. And Which starts when? 11.30 uh, a.m. Eastern. 11.30. 8.30 a.m. Pacific. 11.30 a.m., so we're uh, 14 hours out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that math up, huh? <laughs> Give or take. No, I see the looks of dread, like I've screwed up math God. again. But no, it's 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 about right. Give or take. Everybody's gonna be watching at three in the morning. So uh, we'll get to all that, but let's let's not deviate too far from our from our well honed course here. Adam Ford, jump in that bowl. All right. Figuratively, of course. Let's, let's and do see it. what you can uh, <laughs> see what you can find. Let's see what we got here. Uh, app, okay, from the uh, from the patent archives, uh, Apple files. Fi We're just gonna try that again. Uh, Apple files patent on iPhone gloves to keep your hands warm. So uh, here's here's the deal. Here you're you're in the cold regions. Perhaps you live in Alaska or British Columbia. Shout out to British Columbia. Um, and you have BC, your iPhone. Spend those you loonies wisely. <laughs> Loons. <laughs> you have you have your iPhone, and you've got your your gloves on, and you're like trying to figure out how to work the darn thing. And you're like, man, it's not going to work. Then I got to take my gloves gloves off. Hey, it doesn't but then work. It's eh? Really cold outside, and how? You need some gloves with some with some finger action going on because you got to be able to uh, you got to be able to work it. You got to be able to work it with your fingers. And when you work it with your fingers, of course, you need a patent. And you need them exposed. 
but they need to be exposed. And you can't do that without a patent. You can't do it without a patent, so the, the story goes that they are patenting the, these gloves. It has both an outer shell and an inner shell, which are, are removable in some fashion. Now, do you think this is different than the ultra hip gloves that have the little flap that, that pulls pulls down off and the fingers are exposed. Is there a name for those, Mac girl? Do you know the name of those? You're on the cutting edge know. of... Horribly uncool. You don't know the gloves, the little yeah, tops? I know, I know, off? I know, I know. But it's not gonna be that. Okay. It won't be that. Or what about, you know, like total, sometimes the girls wear totally the... lame. Sometimes the girls wear the socks. Oh, cute. Sometimes the girls socks? wear the socks. No, it's not... <laughs> They're patenting gloves, not socks you wear in your hands. Come on. <laughs> God, get with it. Um, so some way, some way this will have finger cutouts or some kind of some kind of way that you can... But see, here's my thing. You're putting holes in gloves. Is that yeah. really the best way to keep your hands warm? I feel like it's not. Well, no, but it's the best way to use your iPhone. Well, it is, but if I could do that, I, could go, I can go to the store now and cut some holes in some gloves and I can accomplish the same thing. Do it. We'll, we we'll see how it plays out. We need to time out for just a second. The folks in accounting just sent me an IM. <laughs> Wanted me to remind everyone, tonight's show brought to you by Forklift. Basically takes everything the Finder does, adds yeah. more functionality to it. You can find out more. Matt Girl doing her impression of yes. a, a forklift behind the camera. Thank you. Again, sponsors always love it when you make us laugh in the middle of this. <laughs> but uh, Forklift, it's uh, I call it Finder Plus. And you can find out more at yeah. BinaryNights.com. Okay, we, we make those painless. You, yeah. you don't even know that there's an ad. It's not like we come to a train wreck there. Oh, they know. Oh. It's not product placement. You better believe they know. Look, that's, you, took, you took the time to take the label off of that water. I did. There's no label. Well, Just, there is back here. But you, I mean, come on. Uh, well, you figure it out. Name that brand. But if they could scan that or take a picture with that Amazon app, right? Maybe yeah. that's enough to find out what the water is. Or a uh, delicious, delicious library or monster. Yeah. Whatever. They did the anyway. I know what you're talking about. I'm just the, back the, the humor day. comes from pretending I don't. <laughs> yes, folks. This is big news. Quite funny. This is big news. As we know, people have been waiting for the Beatles to come to iPhone to iTunes so for a long time so now. Tell me. I don't care. I don't either. I think most Beatles fans probably have the Beatles music they want by now. Probably. Um, but at any rate, you can now get. Every single Beatles song through iTunes. Liar. For free. Liar. For free, you nonetheless. Lie. You lie. I don't believe you. Well, I don't lie, but I'm not telling you the whole story. Uh -huh. Here's the situation. Uh, this comes to us from the unofficial Apple weblog, T-U-A-W, as they like to call themselves, um, which makes sense. It's the letters. <laughs> it's kind of like TDL Live, really. <laughs> Anyhow. Here, here's the deal. The songs are free. They're being offered in a podcast by uh, Norwegian broadcaster NRK, which I've caught you watching NRK on occasion. Uh, the thing is that uh, <laughs> you tune in for the ships and you, you stick around for the ice. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> but listen to me now. NRK is offering a podcast where essentially they're telling the story about each song. Yeah. And then they're playing the song in its entirety. Okay. So enterprising folks could just kind of set their end point right after that story part. Yeah. And uh, just, just have all the songs. You can subscribe to that so it all comes to you. It comes to you one a day. <laughs> I, make I, it even more convenient. I will give you one asterisk or that tiny little cross sometimes. You yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. As a yeah. child, I always thought that meant it was somehow a religious product. <laughs> I didn't know that meant there was little print. <laughs> Anyhow, um, the asterisk being that the stories are obviously in Norwegian. So if you don't speak Norwegian, you won't know. Just what, wait for the Beatles song. <laughs> you won't know what the story is. I actually would like to hear the story behind each one of the 212 songs, but I'm not going to learn another language to be able to do that. Yeah. Rosetta Stone. It's used by little, top universities, NASA. Get a little, yeah. get a little Rosetta Bowling. on. I know. And it's available at a mall near you in a kiosk. <laughs> Uh, don't forget TDL Live on iChat or via Twitter. Mm -hmm. And uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow, 1130 a.m. 1130. Macworld, baby. Macworld. I think the folks at home can tell we're just a little extra jazz tonight. Oh, yeah. The the jo job come, jobs come. Oh, you're clean. going right I'm in. I'm going right in. I'm going right in. You can just, you relax. Well, I was going to segue you and relax. say we're, we're really jazz, but there was a little sobering news today. And now we go to Adam. <laughs>
Uh, Jobs comes clean on illness, denies serious issues. So uh, a press release was put out today. Um, it was basically a letter uh, from Steve to Apple faithful, I guess, or, or Apple people concerned with Apple um, and said all about, you know, there have been concerns about my, my health and I've been losing weight and stuff like that. And that's true, I have been. I mean, he's obviously can't conceal that. Um, and it, it seemed, you know, the tone of the letter was, I didn't really want to do this. I didn't want to tell you all about this, but because of all of the, the nasty rumors about me being on my deathbed and everything else, just not true. You know, I have had this problem with uh, what it's like a pro- not being able to retain protein. Proteins basically. aren't being yeah taken care of. Yeah. We're, we're, so, by the way, we're not doctors. No, no, no. I know I know nothing about this, but apparently some very sophisticated techniques and things like that were were used, and um, they've come up with a treatment plan and everything else. So he's doing fine, I guess. I mean, well, he's he's doing better than some people would think. Right. Um, and it seems like they have a, a treatment plan and everything else and you know it, it's um it's nice to hear it's kind of I, I, i'm kind of it's kind of a shame that he needs to do this i mean he clearly did not want to you know bring the public into his what what is a private a, a private matter right you know right so well I, i'm of I, i'm really mixed on it it's really a tough situation because there, i think there are ways he could have nipped this in the bud earlier that maybe there wouldn't have been this rampant speculation that it got to the point where he had to reveal as much as he has right but at the same point he stood on stage and said uh did the the old mark twain quote about you right. know rumors of his death being exaggerated let's move on i mean what yeah. more do you want from him right but you know it is a cloud it's been a cloud on the stock it's been a cloud on why aren't they yeah. at mac world now our own jamie degrazio uh sometimes prone to be more skeptical or cynical <laughs> than ourselves you know him from root access of course uh he he's not buying it He's not buying it. He thinks this is just the latest uh, cover-up. I, I don't think so because I guess my my take on it is he didn't really have to do this. Right. Everything could have kept on as it was. I mean, you know, the the, the company just plugging on him saying, you know, screw it, I'm not telling anybody anything. This is my business. But. He comes out and he says that he thinks he does what's best for the company. He says, if you know, if in any way I can't be the CEO, I will step down. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and let somebody else step in. But he he said that he has no intention to do so unless unless need be. I mean, he he clearly has the the company's best interest in mind. Um, and, and I think that that's why he why he said it is because he thinks that it will be better for the company if he does rather than let it continue on. So it's kind of taking, putting himself you right. know, out there and, right. and, and saying it. And there so. was a vote of confidence as well from the board. They put out their own little statement saying they supported Steve, right. et cetera, et cetera. Right. Um, but you know what I, I'm thinking? The silver lining here? Tell me about it. Well, Steve started it, and he said, you know, well, gee, I hate to, I don't really want to put all this out there. Right. I think he's this close to a Zanga blog. A what? <laughs> or a or a uh, a Bebo account, <laughs> or a LinkedIn. Because yeah. now he's going to get the bug about this whole you know sharing your life thing, and and we're going to see him blogging. Mm. It'll be S Jobs that blog spot. You know, people go there. Real, real Steve Jobs. And he'll be like, Hey, yeah, right. Status, you know. Friendly. Whoa, really busy. <laughs> Which, by the way, is the worst stat. Can, you're not busy if you put in your status is really busy. I just want to throw that out yeah, there. Yeah. Also, work you work, busy bee. <laughs> <laughs> and what is that from? I'm pretty sure it's a, what is it, a FedEx commercial, I, UPS. I have no idea. Uh, it's one of the common. I wanted carriers. to learn. It's me. one of the common carriers. Uh, no DHL then. Yeah, they're not so common anymore. Okay. Don't forget, TDL Live, also via Twitter, and uh, we'll give you the full rundown on tomorrow's activities. It will be, in the words of a certain owl that didn't want people to pollute, it'll be a hoot. (laughs) What? Folks, uh, even the small talk will be good, big. (laughs) Even the small talk will be big. Say the Macworld banners. This uh-huh. is coming to us from Mac Rumors. This kind of feeds into the whole iPhone Nano thing. We'll yep. get to that in a little bit. Uh, no, there's not something in the air this time. 
that's right, and that it was indeed the MacBook Air. I, I, I'm sure if you go back to the archives, I'm sure I had some fanciful tinfoil hat idea as to what that was. I'm sure you were wearing tinfoil on your head. Uh, which wouldn't be the first time, because if you check out our be. Cyber Monday show, it wouldn't be. There, it's a full uh, attire. But anyhow, there are white banners uh, throughout the hall. Mm -hmm. White banners. Now, um, uh, Chuck, Chucky. I'm sorry, I can't remember his Chucky. last name. He he just he left Apple two years ago. He was in charge of marketing. He has his own blog. I will get that name. And I will, I will hand deliver it to you because I don't remember. <laughs> but he put on his blog that when he was in charge of the Macworlds, and I don't know if uh, he was... Request for more foil. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if he was kidding or not, but he said that they always covered the hardware announcements with white banners and software with black. Oh. So maybe there's something to the fact that there are more white banners than uh, black banners. Could be. So. I'm going to get a Kleenex. Okay. I'm back with the Kleenex. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use a Kleenex. Sure, go ahead. It's a good one. We could eBay that. You could, I'll sign it. I'll sign it. <laughs> it's got your DNA, what more do we need? All right. Yes. Yeah. Are you back? I'm back, I'm All here. All right. Uh, so that's about it. White covered banners. Um, exit sign shows the dates for next year's Macworld. It's kind of, it's almost tongue in cheek, isn't it? Uh, San Francisco, January 4th to the 8th. Now, after this week's over, I, I do want to come back and visit this on the show about next year's Macworld. Yeah. Because I think, I'm not always an optimist, I'll come out and say it, but I think there's a chance for Macworld to continue to be a very strong event, and I will lay out the path that it has to take to make that happen in a future episode. Okay. So stay tuned, and better yet, subscribe. Yeah. In iTunes. And if you like what you, what you see, let the world know. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Tell some people about uh, coverage tomorrow, 11.30. Tune in. We will be here. We'll do the refreshing for you. Why, why should you have you to refresh wanna, things? You don't want to no. go to all those other yeah. sites and look at the headlines. Let us yeah. do that for you. Well, how fun is that? I mean, honestly, people. Right. Plus, you won't meet anybody new. We have a chat room. You'll be able to chat with the other viewers. Yep. And uh, try to inundate Adam with iChats, which is always a fun part. Yeah, it's great. We're trying to uh, break iChat yet again. Yeah. So. I believe that we were about, what, 1,600 simultaneous? It was a lot. Windows? It was a lot. It was a lot. So, send them in. Keep them coming. But it kept running. Kept running. I don't think my MacBook was as fortunate. No, it was very, <laughs> very warm. Uh, you know what? Let's 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 put that on. Should we put that on the back burner? We could just put that here. Is that breaking all the rules if we do that? No. You want? Do you want to dive we can do into what that we now? Want. That's the beauty of it. It's the beauty of it. I should ask the folks at home. Cover it now. TDL Live, AOL, Instant Messenger, or iChat. Okay, you're up. <laughs> Because that's the big, well, I can't tell you the topic. If we told them the topic, then the, the, then we'd have to do it. The topic is juicy story. <laughs> you know what, folks? It might be, it might be Macworld week, but it's also CES. This CES. CES, where the TVs inevitably will be bigger. The They'll be full of pixels. The booth babes thinner, and the... Uh, MP3 players crappier if CES passed. High def, more high def. Even deafier. Deafier. But um, among all that is an exciting announcement. How, how many of you out there uh, have Palm pilots uh, by choice? <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> well, do you have a cricket uh, sound effect? <laughs> tomorrow is the unveiling of the new Palm, not tomorrow, I'm sorry, This at, at uh, CES, I believe on Thursday, uh, the unveiling of the new yep. Palm. Nova-based handset. Now, you know how much chatter there's been about this Nova OS. Yeah, I, I know all about it. It's time to point out that old urban legend that Nova means doesn't go in Latin America. Hispanic, because no one bah to go. But can actually, we, that's an urban myth. Back, can we remember yes. back to the uh, folio? Or, or the, the Folio, as I, I always You put an extra it. O in there. Yeah, yeah. The product that never was yeah. was the, the, the Palm's, Palm's revolutionary companion device that would go with your trio, which nobody owns, mm -hmm. to, uh, to connect you at places to the internet and t you could type. Uh, called of Mac calling it Palm's best chance to recover from a disastrous 2008. Disastrous well. 2008? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
I, hey, you know, I mean, they, they need to do something, so go ahead, why not do this? I mean, they've, they've already wasted, they probably would have, they waste eight months or so probably on the folio, if not more. Um, so hey, we'll see if uh, we'll see if Nova is any better. Palm, if you want to prove us wrong, feel free to send us a uh, demo. We'll, we'd be more than happy to give it an unbiased look. Yes, even absolutely. though we're kind of biased going in. <laughs> uh, prove us wrong. Send us send us a we, uh, we Nova. Do, we do ask that you enclose the uh, return post. Return example. postage paid. It's, otherwise, it's budget's not going a little back. tight. It won't come back. Otherwise, it's not going back. Okay, just so you know that up front. <laughs> full, full disclosure. But uh, it's supposed to be iPhone like, according to Crunch Gear. Oh uh, yeah, mimic mimicking something that's successful is always a good way to go. If yeah. you want to, if you want to gain ground, they're not trailblazing; they're mimicking. Okay. Uh, by the way, this is our first show. I know it isn't in there, so I just want to touch on this. How about that whole uh, Zoom meltdown thing? Did we discuss that? No, that was we after. No, yeah, we did. You, you know about this, right? All I, the Zoom stopped working. No, I didn't. Oh what? my goodness! December yeah, stopped. The 30 gigabyte model stopped. Um, oh, what? Punchline. What is, what is this? Y2K? It, it, well, they're calling it <laughs> Z2K9. <laughs> Ah. And basically what happened, there was, yes. a, there was an issue in the code. They did not account for the fact that 2008 was a leap year. And so in the code, it said, you know, Damn. if day equals 365, well, here's day 366, and it just locked up. And uh, Microsoft's <laughs> eventual fix was, well, why don't you try it tomorrow? Because then it would reset <laughs> and uh, start over. Wow. Yeah. I don't know how that was off your radar. That was, yeah, it was off my radar. Hmm. It was off my radar. I went dark for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> You're up. It's like the submarine yeah. thing. Yeah. That I know nothing about. I, I obviously you don't. Because <laughs> I don't have a clue what you're talking Early about. Early photos from Moscone Apple booth. What we would show you them, but we don't have any... Photos of However, we might be a, we we plan to bring you photos tomorrow during our live coverage of sites around the web and uh, any breaking images from yes. MacWorld. So, so uh, if you're familiar with with the way the the hall is set up, Apple's booth is um, smack dab in the middle of like the convention floor, and it's usually gigantic. It's like several sided, mm -hmm. and it's. Um, it has uh, these big TV, like like projection screens, where people will be given like demos of whatever's going on up on the stage and whatnot. Right. But above it, there's um, these like banners that that hang. I don't know, probably 12 feet, maybe more. This would be great for radio. I'm just thinking yeah. we should be on radio. We don't have a picture. Right, right, right. Well, there are banners. Uh, so there's, there's, yeah, there's these big banners, and they're they're uh, shrouded in. They're covered by like black cloth, black drapes or whatever in front of it, so you can't see what the what the actual signage is. So okay. apparently the stage is set again. It's the same sort of same sort of setup in there. Um, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see what they what they unveil. But everything's uh, everything's getting all set up per usual. Okay. Hopefully Very it's good. hopefully it's a big uh, big to do. Our. Uh uh, we're running a little behind. Oh my! Well, we are. We're running. I'm gonna. Well, let's let's go. Go, go right through let's this. Go. Mac OS share is accelerating. So let's talk, if we could, <laughs> about MacWorld. Uh huh. Uh, tomorrow's Tomorrow. the big day. Uh, one thing that's happening tonight, actually, as we're on the air live, those of you who are at MacWorld who probably can't see us right now, uh, welcome to Macintosh, which is the documentary yeah. about uh, the Mac, as you would expect, and a little bit about the, the folks who made. It and those of us who love it and, and all that, uh, they're doing a live. They're doing a screening with several movers and shakers from uh, back in the day mm -hmm. at Apple. And excited to tell you, we'll talk about this more tomorrow. But if you can't join us tomorrow, uh, we will be having the web premiere of that film next Monday night. Exclusive, yeah. After this very show, and the filmmakers will be uh, in the chat room there, so you'll be able to chat and ask some questions about meeting all these really cool folks from that. So yeah, when you watch next week, you were going to watch, right? Of course. Uh, stay around, stick around for uh, for the documentary. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, now, Macworld. Macworld. Woo! Six minutes. Tomorrow. <laughs> we might go long. Uh, tell, the, uh, tell the affiliates. <laughs> we might go long. <laughs> Macworld tomorrow posted a blog a little bit earlier tonight, had uh, your summary, my summary, and Jamie's summary of what we expect. Let's just hit those here live. iPhone Nano, you say? No go. I say absolutely. 
No go. I said it a year ago. I continue to say it. iPhone Nano tomorrow. Were you wrong a year ago? You're not wrong if you just keep saying it. Because eventually, <laughs> eventually there will okay. be a smaller iPhone. <laughs> Apple makes things, and then they make them smaller. All right. So I'm not wrong yet, and I cannot be so wrong. So unless you said it was a giant iPhone, you would <laughs> right, no, that would be it, silly. then you would be wrong. That'd be silly. Uh, new iMac. Um, I say not yet. Hmm. I say I say first half 2009, mm -hmm. not tomorrow. I say tomorrow, but maybe not even part of the keynote. Uh, quiet speed bump, no change in the uh, design. The wild card would be if suddenly it had touch capability. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to keep score somehow tomorrow. We, need we will. We'll, we'll recap something. tomorrow, and it might be the return of the green and red yeses and nos. I know you're a big fan. <laughs> I of am those. a big fan of those. Uh, let's talk uh, Mac Mini. Mac Mini, yeah, I think that that's going to be the, uh, the the surprise of the show. I think it's they need something to blast an, out of an aluminum box. You know, they need, they got those chunks of aluminum now, and they're just making things left and right. So the the, the Mac Mini is going to be this all aluminum one piece. Hmm. Awesome thing with okay. with uh, a speed bump. It's going to have the mini display port on it. Um, you know, up to four gig of, of storage. I think it, it. I think it's. I think we get one. I think we get one. You're saying Mac Mini? Yes. It hasn't been since 2007 that we've gotten anything on the Mac Mini. Yeah. So. I, I. It's definitely time for the Mac Mini. I think there are just so many clever uses yeah. for that device if it just had a few tweaks. And I yeah. think tomorrow we'll get the tweaks. Yeah. What I don't know is whether we'll see it mesh with the Apple TV or see new Apple TV functionality. It would be so nice if they made front row just more robust mm -hmm. and, and, and made it so you could use attached storage and things like that and, and, and you know opened it up a little bit. I think then you put a Mac Mini with any pretty much any TV and you've got a winner. Which brings me to uh, one of the other rumors, the home media server. No. I, I say no. On I say no on that as well. Okay. We're in agreement there. Excellent. It's just confusing. I mean, what really? Don't what, need another what piece would of you, hardware. I mean, I mean, what would you call it? I I home server media. I media. I what? Those Apple are all media. great names. This, I mean, not only is it a terrible name, it just doesn't make sense. What right. do you do with it? Why, right. why is it different than... And the hardware is the same as Why something. do I need that? Yeah. Uh, either it's the same as Time Machine, Time Capsule, or it's the same as um, as the Apple TV or the Mac Mini. Yeah, yeah. It's a software solution. Maybe we see it built into something. Here's something we haven't heard about recently. By the way, TDL Live via iChat yeah. or Twitter to say hello. Um, the uh, Snow Leopard, do you think we yeah. get a shipping date tomorrow? Yes. I, I can't believe it would ship before the next developers conference. I don't... Oh, I got you there, Pilgrim. I stymied you. He is stymied, ladies and gentlemen. I don't... Uh, uh, maybe a beta. I think that we get... I think that we get something. I think we get developer... Access. I'm sorry. Something. I just got to go back. I didn't mean to imply that Apple would actually release a piece of beta software to the masses. I took no, that back. No, no, no. Not since 10.0. No. Uh, so let me uh, go back on that. I... Okay. Well, don't don't worry about it. We got other things to cover. You think about it. We'll I come will. back to it. I will. What about this thing that we're going to get? A 17-inch MacBook Pro with enclosed battery, non-replaceable battery. Ew! Yuck! That's a horrible idea. I don't. I hope not. <laughs> That would that would that would make me upset. I'm sure, a lot of other people too. That's not no. That's not good. Why would you do that? I don't know. That's a terrible idea. Talk to Johnny Ive. He'll it's tell you why you do idea. it. Because it's all aluminium. It's all aluminium. <laughs> well, take him off the holiday guest list for next year. Johnny and his puffy coat really, will be really stopping good, by. Really good uh, impression. It's exactly what he sounds like. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, that's the experience that you can only have having worked for Apple. Right. If you haven't, you know, we, we've worked for Apple, so then we know that's what Johnny Ive is like. You yeah. couldn't you couldn't make that on your own. <laughs> Aluminium. Yikes. I, I just keep wanting to go in here. Uh, okay, so what did we miss? We talked Mac Mini, iMac, mm -hmm. Snow Leopard, uh, Media Server. Uh, oh, let's talk um, one more thing slash wildcard. Can I take yeah. this first? Go ahead. I think we see Steve Jobs 
I think we see him via iChat or some new product or, or an existing product with a new feature uh -huh. that shows him he's at home he's and he's able to work from home through the magic of this new product. Okay. And uh, crowd goes wild. Okay. Do you have an idea for a wild card or one more thing? Uh, you know, I, I don't... I don't know. I mean, I think I thought that my, my wild card was going to be the the Mac Mini. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I mean, I I don't. I just don't think that we see Steve. I think that he has made it a point to say I'm not going to be doing this keynote. Right. And as much as I would like to see him do the you know be the Star Wars Im, you know <laughs> eye chat image you know sort of sort of thing. Um, I, I just I don't know. I think that you know he's on the mend and and. He's going to be off off radar. I think we'll see him in some manner, and then there'll be this great debate as to whether it was live or pre-recorded or animatronic. And it wasn't really him. He's, he has the folks at Disney doing the Steve <laughs> animatronic. It's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's all conspiracy. Oh, God. oh my goodness! So we're almost out of time, uh, but we've, we'll have more for you again tomorrow. Starts at eleven thirty. Eleven thirty coverage starts. Uh, we'll be here. We'll be surfing all the other sites for you, giving yep. you the latest headlines as soon as there are pictures or anything from San Fran. Uh, <laughs> then uh, we will bring it to you, of course. Save, save your clicks. You know, the mic, look, your mouse does not work forever, no. folks. So, come on. If you've got 10 million clicks in that puppy, don't spend five going to other sites. We'll, we'll go to all the sites there's, for yeah, you. There's no need to be doing it. And, and if you do want to go to another site, use, use a new tab, of course, or a new window. You don't want to do that. <laughs> well, you can do that. Well, why would you want both? I mean, really, honestly. And don't forget, uh, next Monday night, we have the Welcome to Macintosh documentary. More on that in the coming days, but we hope you'll join us tomorrow. You can get ready, get prepped. First of all, get lots of sleep, hydrated. And, and, and bookmark, perhaps. Bookmark. Bookmark us. The homepage, get the, your Twitter account I'm sure you've fired up. Done that, but. Go ahead and start following TDL Live. Yep. Uh, and get your iChat ready with TDL Live. It should be, be, should fully, be a good time. Fully interactive tomorrow. And, you know, in all seriousness, it is the end of an era. Mm -hmm. um, oh, without a doubt, yeah. And it's, it kind, it's historic, and it that's is. kind of got lost in the whole thing, the sideshow about Steve and whether he's going to be there. Right. But it's the end of an era, Apple at Macworld. Yep. And uh, we hope you'll, you'll spend a little bit of it with us tomorrow. Absolutely. So with that, we bid you farewell. Get your rest. <laughs>